Okay, this is Lance, Lucky Dog Bus, Lone Driver. I'm here in the hangar. It's Saturday morning, got a lot of football today, but I got a couple things I need to knock out. I need to knock out these wipers. I recently have rebuilt this right side wiper, still need to do that. And I gotta rebuild this left side today, so I'm gonna show you a couple things I've done. Here in the hangar, one of the things we do so we don't have to run the motor and gas this whole place up and fume it up is we use our compressor. So we got our DeWalt right there, I don't know if it's a 60 or 80 gallon, fill that sucker up. And then, of course on the MCIs, you have the fill port right here. So I can just flip this off, take this off, close this, and I'll go show you exactly what I wanted to work on here. Kind of a cold day here in Nashville. It's nice to be able to work in the hangar. So, going in, and I'll show you what I wanted to do. So, I've got about 80 pounds left. If you see right there, there's about 80 pounds left. So, this wiper here, I can go ahead and park it and operate it. So, nice, smooth operation. And I turn it off, and it parks itself. So, what does this side do? It's going to be the right wiper. Here and under here, if you hear a leak, can't even park it. So, what I found from rebuilding the other ones on the other buses is that their the wiper motor is actually shot. So, I'm gonna do a little stop motion here as I rebuild this and uh, let you see exactly how I do it. Okay, I put things in fast forward here. Um, actually, I realized when I went back through this after making my first video. Uh, here for YouTube that I something's wrong with my phone and it uh, well it's two years old how about that so it basically would get every other word unless I was right next to it it couldn't hear what I was doing so got everything sped up right here I'm basically going to go through and show you all how to remove the wipers how to remove the wiper motors uh, from everything uh, I'm probably going to add some music so you can see it and then uh, I try to talk where it, where it matters but kind of embarrassing but hey you live and learn upward not only Okay, what I was going to do here was show that uh, in order to get the ring off, I had to get a pipe wrench and an extension bar and one to keep from marring the surface of the bus here, but this actually has this, this ring that goes on. There's probably a special tool that MCI makes for it. I know I talked about that. that there's a lot of things in the old days they would put in the manual to teach you how to make your own tools, whether it was putting in uh, uh, the bushings, the radius rod bushings, or even this tool for removing these uh, windshield wiper retainer rings. But hey, a pipe wrench and extension bar, I got it down, it, it worked out all right.
so this part here looks like I was getting ready to take off the uh, the center the center covering in order to get to either one of these you'll have to take off the center and then you can get to the left and right motor um, got to make sure you don't damage these screws because you got to put it back together and if you damage them you might not be able to get back together Okay, I'm getting into the uh, area here where, we're, where we actually remove the wiper motor assembly. So, it's that little square box that I'm taking the four screws out of right there. You want to be real careful you don't get this thing kind of warped in there. It'll, it'll kind of get stuck. One of the things I was also talking about is that there used to be a seal. I've looked through the manuals and the books with MCI and I cannot find the seal that they would have sold. All right, we're getting into the nitty gritty stuff. Number. This is where I actually so I probably want to make that and remove uh, you know, the white motor going down assembly. the road. They don't want air um, blowing. When you look in cabin. there, there's actually um, the arm that moves back and forth. Right so you've got to move that up out of the way so you uh, can pull it out. And there's three I lines. I it up. Three air lines. One is the things falling out. One is the that was old caulking, etc. Input. Uh, pressure and then the other kind of this little drain line that runs down underneath the bus and if you don't do that it makes this constant hissing sound so I went ahead and I just clip these because I'm going to go through and replace these with the, the push to push to disconnect new type instead of the old compression fitting so I think we'll move to the table soon and knock that out. Alright so this is my air wiper. R for right. The idea is that this moves back and forth and when it gets to the other side, it reverses direction and goes back. I can tell you from feeling this that there's absolutely no uh, the seals are shot. It just moves without any issue. And then this this actually tells the pistons what direction to go. Uh, this is a drain line right here. Um, this is the inlet. This is the exhaust, and this is an exhaust as well. So I'm gonna get this sucker torn apart and uh, see. Okay, we're getting into the home stretch here. Of day one of uh, my video for this. Basically, I just wanted to tell how to, to tell and show how to take it okay. apart. What's unique is the air motor part or the air piston side is actually inside the cabin because of those seals that I was talking about. It's very clean. It's very easy to take it apart as you're able to see uh, what I'm doing here because it just hasn't had weather getting to it. The other side, yes, it had a lot of weather and rust, but from the inside it comes apart really easily so once I get this broke down we're actually gonna um, take it to my house and shoot some video of the complete rebuild of the interior so uh, this is day one I hope you've enjoyed it my first YouTube video